Alvarez, Chandler 2 can't wait. You'll see it next. He heard him back. Chandler He's letting go. Alvarez in all sorts of trouble. Trying to hold on. Oh, good right hand by Eddie. Their first fight was an instant classic. There's the top, and we have a new champion. Now they meet again in one of MMA's most anticipated battles. Up next, it's Chandler Alvarez 2. Our locker room cam is brought to you by Reebok ATV19. Eddie Alvarez working on his footwork, his accuracy. He's got to be on his bike in the first round against the very powerful and accurate strikes of Michael Chandler. We all knew he could wrestle, but his boxing has gotten so much better in the Bellator cage. It'll be on display tonight. Tonight's Bellator main event live on Spike is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator MMA. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. The Bellator cage is in Long Beach, California tonight and we've now reached our main event. It's the rematch. Former champion Eddie Alvarez versus the undefeated champion Michael Chandler for the Bellator lightweight world title. When you wake up every single morning knowing you're doing what God has called you to do. It's kind of hard to think that you could even be stopped. I've always been a fighter. Wicked body shots, big takedown. Eddie now, he's going to go hard for the finish. I never had to become one. I've always been one. Good, clean fight. I will not tolerate anything less. Let's touch gloves. Let's get ready. Rock and roll. I was literally fighting for less than two years, and I was in the title fight against a top five lightweight in the world. The bell in round number one. How much time will Eddie spend on the feet? That's the important part. He hurt him back. And he's letting go. Alvarez in all sorts of trouble trying to hold on. The fight wasn't going exactly my way, but I remember the joy I was getting in the fight. Heading into round number three. Chandler trying to fire back. Now he's in big trouble. Alvarez sensing the end. I think that third round is arguably one of the worst beatings anybody's taken in mixed martial arts and not gone down, not gotten finished. On my worst night, I still almost won the fight. Chandler has sensed the finish. Alvarez has sensed the finish. And still we fight on. Here comes round number four. There's a time when you either have the opportunity to break or you have the opportunity to dig deeper, oh, right find hand. that last little bit of energy, that last little bit of He's fight hurt. inside He's your heart, inside bleed. your soul. I just believe I was a better man that day. Now giving up his back! Alvarez, bleeding terribly out of the mouth. There's the top, and we have a new champion! Michael Chandler is Bellator's new lightweight world champion! First thing Mike said after he beat me was, are you f***ing kidding me? He didn't even believe he could beat me. Whoa! Big right hand. Chandler's looking to finish! He knows that he's going to need a baseball bat to finish me. I am the future of this sport. I only have a short window of opportunity to do something great, and I don't want to waste one second of it. The lightweight belt is mine. It's always been mine. I'm angry, and everything that I feel is pushing me to do what I have to do to be flawless. After Bjorn Rebney wraps a belt around my waist, I'm going to be smiling like you've never seen before. Definitely training like this is the biggest fight of my life because it is. It's a great, great feeling when that fight was over and beating him a second time will be just as good. I'm in the sport for a reason, and that's to be number one in the world. Bellator's former lightweight world champion, Eddie Alvarez, 
who lost his title November 2011 versus Michael Chandler in a truly spectacular fight. Chandler nearly finished Alvarez opening stages of round one. Continual back and forth. The momentum shifts unbelievable. Alvarez very nearly finished Chandler Jimmy in round three. And then in round number four, Chandler catching Alvarez in a rear naked choke, getting the submission victory and taking the title. Now, two years later, Eddie Alvarez gets his rematch. It's one of those things when people ask, why is this the best fight you've ever seen? The back and forth. There were moments when you thought both guys were going to win. The other guy persevered, pushed fast, pushed past it. And Chandler was the one who came back the last time in the fourth round and got the choke. That's why I think it's such a phenomenal fight. Speaking of phenomenal, Jimmy, that's the word that Eddie Alvarez used to describe his opponent, Michael Chandler, a word he would not have used and did not use two years ago to describe Chandler. Even though Alvarez called Chandler phenomenal coming into this fight, he said, I still think I have a better ground game and I think I have better hands. Do you agree with that assessment? Possibly. He think, I think he has a better jujitsu. I think they're equal in hands. He's perhaps more versatile than Michael Chandler. But Michael Chandler, very fast, very accurate, a very hard puncher. But Eddie throws him a lot of angles and throws a lot of different punches. He could see that as his big advantage. Alvarez beautifully summed up this fight. He said, this is going to get bad for one of us quick. Michael Chandler came to MMA from wrestling in NCAA Division I, All-American at the University of Missouri. He's done a great job of implementing his wrestling and then really learning how to become an effective striker, something that Chandler readily admits he knew nothing about when he started his sport. That's an amazing advance, a guy who knew nothing about striking, coming in and boxing as well as he has in Bellator. That's what took Eddie by surprise, I think, in the first fight. He was expecting a wrestler, maybe expecting a grappling match. And Michael came right at him with hands, put Eddie on his heels early. That's not a mistake Eddie's going to make again. Two Novembers ago in their first fight, Chandler had a very fast start. And that's something that he said he really wants again tonight. Part of that fast start, though, was coming at Eddie Alvarez in a way that Eddie Alvarez didn't expect. Eddie Alvarez is going to be more prepared this time around. That being said, though, Michael Chandler has gotten better since the last time he fought Eddie. It's who's improved the most since their last fight. That could be the difference, Sean. You see Bellator girl Mercedes Terrell indicating that round number one is upcoming in this Bellator lightweight world title fight, our main event of the evening. I wasn't looking at the card at all. I assume it's round one, though. She could have been holding up a question could have, mark. Could have, been, could have been anything. A squiggly line. I would not have been paying attention. Chandler, man, this guy believes in himself so much. So much confidence coming in. Only has 12 fights. But he has looked dominant in Bellator so far. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Dave & Buster's. Eat, drink, play, watch sports. You see nothing highlighted. Age, height, weight, reach. All relatively the same. No physical differences really between these guys. It's going to be the intangibles that decide this fight. Again, here's Bellator cage announcer Michael Williams. Live on Spike Bellator MMA tonight from Long Beach Arena now. Present the long-awaited rematch. Five five-minute rounds tonight. Main event for the Bellator Lightweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Commissioner John Frierson Chair, Executive Officer is Andy Foster. This world title fight tonight is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator MMA. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. 
And now, first, introducing the red corner. At 5'10", weighing in 154.5 pounds, the former Bellator lightweight world champion returns to the Bellator cage with 24 professional victories, only three defeats. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, he hails from Philadelphia, PA. Introducing Eddie Alvarez. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the blue corner at five foot eight, weighing in 154.8 pounds. Tonight, he enters his third title defense undefeated as a professional. 12 victories, no defeats, hailing from High Ridge, Missouri. He fights out of San Diego. California, the defending Bellator lightweight world champion, Michael Chandler. In charge of this world title fight, your referee, Big John McCarthy. Eddie, Michael. For the Bellator lightweight championship of the world, I want you to protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Step back, good luck to both of you. Good. Luck. good. Jimmy, how about your fighter's edge? A well, striking, I'm going equal. Eddie a little more versatile, Michael Chandler a little bit faster. Submissions, Eddie Alvarez the more polished, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, that's no contest, Michael Chandler. Gas tank, Michael Chandler came out in that fourth round and blew Eddie away, great gas. The X Factor, he won the first time, he might have the mental edge, X Factor right, go. goes to ready? Michael Chandler. You ready? That Get is off. what it's at stake, Bellator's lightweight world title, round number one. Tonight's Fight Clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Alvarez in the red trunks, the champion Chandler in the white trunks. The thing about Chandler, he likes to keep his hands low and rely on his speed. That might be a mistake against Eddie. Watch your head, watch your head. Side to side movement from Alvarez. Swing and a miss, then the slip by Chandler. Alvarez didn't pounce. That's the one thing that's always impressed me about Eddie is his footwork. Not a lot of guys in MMA have that boxing angling footwork. Eddie Alvarez does. Right hand lands from Alvarez. So Chandler trying to establish the jab. coming forward. The one advice I would have given Eddie Alvarez in the first round if I were his coach is move, move, move. Head movement, foot movement, don't stand in front of this kid like you did in the beginning of the last fight. Make him miss, frustrate him, make him pay. Alvarez looking very loose on his feet. Looking for the single leg. Chandler doing well to defend. Gets the separation. In Eddie Alvarez's corner, Kenny Monday. U.S. Olympic gold medalist, outstanding wrestler. You know he's been working on his takedown, his takedown defense. Stiff left jab by Alvarez. Already an abrasion under Chandler's right eye. Good right hand by Alvarez. Eddie loves that punch, that lead right hand. Alvarez just waving Chandler in. Chandler yet to find the striking timing. Can you tell what Eddie wants to do, frustrate the kid. Angle, move, make him miss, make him frustrated. He may be naturally faster, he may have picked up a lot of boxing, but Eddie Alvarez is just more experienced. Good right hand by Chandler. Swinging hard as he steps into the pocket, Jimmy. Oh, Above the waistline from Chandler, now walking forward. Chandler left from Alvarez. Good right hand. 
Bears looking for the single leg. The Fetters back to their feet. With 45 remaining round number one, scheduled for five. This for the Bellator lightweight world title. One thing Eddie's gonna have to do is counter-strike effectively. Catch Alvarez when he misses. When he makes mistakes, make him pay. Make him back off. Because right now, he's certainly the aggressor in this fight. Isn't landing effectively yet, but he's certainly pushing the pace. The strategy against somebody like that is land some good counter-strikes. Make him respect you. Chandler missing badly with that lead left hook. He comes forward. Alvarez, a lot of lateral movement, Jenny. Nice jab. Kick caught. Chandler pounces. Has to get one hook in. Big takedown. Chandler now has his right hook in. I can't see how deep it is from here. It's deep. Tight on the rear naked choke. Chandler looking to finish. 28 seconds to go. Can he find it in this time? No. Great submission defense from Alvarez as he powers out. What a look of grit and determination on the face of Eddie Alvarez. Fight. John McCarthy recognized the accidental headbutt. Quick separation. Right back to it. Chandler right back to it, driving in. Slip by Chandler. Here comes round two. You see the right hand miss, and Chandler answering back. But here at the end of the round, almost finished the fight. Look at this beautiful dump. And then only one hook in, trying to finish that rear naked. Look at the, the look on Eddie Alvarez's face. That was tight, even without the hip pressure, even without the hooks in. He almost finished that fight. Get up. Jimmy, your scorecard round one. Very close first round. I went 10-9 Chandler. Eddie was landing good, effective counter strikes at the beginning of the round. Then he was still angling toward the end of the round, but Michael Chandler started taking over. You saw the takedown at the end. Very close, but 10 9 Chandler on my scorecard. Oh, good, good right run. hand, then the left. Counter right, right back from Alvarez. This is badly. Bounce in the step of the champion, Michael Chandler. Chandler's worked so much, not just on his footwork, but on his head movement in his stand up. And the seat punch is better, slip punch is better. Come on, from Alvarez. Chandler, you can see just loading up that right hand, Jimmy. Landing a couple good ones so far. Alvarez on his bicycle, circling to a better angle. Likes that look away right hand, that strafing right hand. It's been a very effective punch for him. Just like that. Slide abrasion now under the left eye of Eddie Alvarez. Trying to establish his jab. Good left hand. Almost to look away. What will it do to the energy level of Eddie Alvarez? He has been circling nonstop since the beginning of this fight. It costs a lot of energy angling that much. It's an effective strategy. Move, 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 but it also takes a lot of gas. Stiff jabs from Alvarez. See, Chandler, though, Jimmy, is he's walking and really trying to showcase that head movement. To the body. Looking for the takedown, and he gets it. 
Right back, another takedown from the waist stitch. See, Alvarez trying to pop back to his feet. Chandler has what I call wrestler's jujitsu. It's opportunistic. Things like rear naked chokes, guillotines, head and arm. He'll catch you in a bad position, and he'll capitalize on it. Can be very effective. Earlier in round two, and another takedown by Chandler. I mentioned the abrasion under Alvarez's left eye, now bleeding from under his left eye. There's Chandler bleeding from under his right eye. Chandler trying to stay tight. Downward double strikes from Alvarez. See the blood on the thigh now of Eddie Alvarez. It's from under Chandler's right eye. Significant bleeding and significant swelling, Jimmy. Alvarez looking to his corner. Come on, let's work. Let's go. John McCarthy telling both fighters to work. This difficult position for Michael Chandler to use here. Got to pull him off the fence. Let's go, let's go. Alvarez just looks at McCarthy like, are you going to stand this up? Alvarez gets up of his own volition. 50 seconds to go round number two. Oh, nice combination. Chandler's left eye is starting to swell significantly. And the level change from the champion. And the takedown. 20 seconds remaining round two. Open guard from Eddie Alvarez. Right hand from Chandler, posturing on his knees, close guard from Alvarez. Ten minutes in the books. Simple, listen up. Yes, sir. 100% we did. Listen up to the resets, okay? We don't, we don't have to chase him. Hey, we don't Slight have to chase swelling him. under Chandler's okay. right eye and really significant swelling and under his left away, eye. Cut him off. You see the cut as well. Listen up for the resets on this one. That's the most important thing, okay? Deep breath. Tight defense to my Don't The strikes from Eddie Alvarez. Nice jab. All set up by that footwork. Good angling. That's what's swelling up. The left eye of Michael Chandler, but Michael Chandler's wrestling. He's been tenacious with it. The takedown again in round number two. Beautiful job picking him up and dumping him. Seconds up, let's go. That nice combination, uppercut, left hook combo, combo by Eddie Alvarez. Bellator's former lightweight world champion, Eddie Alvarez versus that man. Bellator's reigning lightweight Ready. world champion, Michael Ready. Chandler. Round number three of this rematch. Jimmy, what do you think thus far? 10-9 Chandler in round number two. I thought Chandler landed the of strikes other than that. Oh, nice kick. In the right hand. An upper, uppercut combination. Eddie Alvarez threw is his best combo of the fight. I thought Chandler's activity and takedowns won him that second round. Very close, though. Three rights to the body from Alvarez. The question's gonna be, what's gonna happen if that eye swells shut? Depth, depth perception goes right out the window. Sorry, that left eye. There's swelling under the right eye, but the really yeah, bad swelling under that's the really left. swelling shut. Driving through, that's nicely defended by Alvarez. Stiff left jab from Alvarez again. Swing and a miss on the uppercut from Chandler. 
much lower now, Jimmy, for Michael Chandler here in round two. And he always likes his hands low. I think that's a weakness in his style. He likes that you know, low-handed kind of style, but you're relying on your speed there. Eddie Alvarez, of course, having a year off from MMA, he talked about, talked to us about it and says, I'm better because of that year off. I healed up in that year off. I got my head straight and my life straight in that one year. Now, Chandler, of course, more active, but if you remember, they've been quick fights. He blew away Gono, blew away Dave Rickles. Rick Hahn was only in the second round of a fight that he dominated, so he hasn't had a ton of rounds himself since he fought Eddie. Bouncing the step of Chandler. Looking to successfully defend his Bellator lightweight world title for the third time. Truthfully, Jimmy, no disrespect to David Rickles or Rick Hahn the first time that he's been tested in the title defense. Very true. Talking about him having more fights. Hasn't had a lot more in time. Chandler now bleeding out of his nose. And the Alvaro's starting to take advantage. Lennon well with the jab, and he's targeting that eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Driving through, and again, you see Alvarez. He's following through and getting the separation that he wants. Problem is that each one of those takedowns he doesn't get costs him a lot of energy. Alvarez, you see, just trying to kick out the leg. Chandler being very patient. And Chandler looking hand. very tired. One, two to answer, though, from Chandler. Everybody down at Alliance has told me nobody trains like Michael Chandler. The guy's a madman in the gym. That's why I gave him the check mark. Thinking he had the better gas tank. He looks very tired right now. Spinning back fist from Alvarez. Uppercut to counter from Chandler. The bloody nose could be affecting his ability to breathe. His mouth very wide open. And that left eye of Chandler looking like a bit of a disaster. Swollen and bleeding badly under the left eye. Also cut in his left lid. Second attempt for a rear naked choke. One hook in for Michael Chandler. Not quite in the right position. And that eye is a mess. Mostly done just powering through Alvarez on the takedown. Problem 25 is, seconds to go round three. Like you just said, only 25 seconds left. Not enough time to really use that top position. Alvarez, you see, keeping Chandler close, out of striking distance from his open guard. Almost to the body from Alvarez on his back. Forearm, then a left hand from Chandler from the top position, body head with the right. The championship rounds upcoming. Blood all over the face of Michael Chandler. Sit back, sit back. Take a deep breath. Yeah, that one was close, okay? Listen to me. We finished strong. We probably got it, but I'm going to get it The only time that Michael okay, Chandler has gone nose. past three nose. rounds, deep breath. when he defeated hey, Eddie Alvarez in November 2011, okay. fourth the fight, round submission to claim his Bellator lightweight world title. Sorry, let him, let him, let him punch. Hey, listen, you can get him out of there, man. Alvarez will so be a second time one to one the fourth punch. round. Yeah. He's yeah. reached the fifth punch. round punch. once in his career. This pro left MMA eye, fight number 28. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. That's that's the last round. one. You're going to make it back. Hey. hey, you want it or not? You want it? Let's go get it, then. Go get it. The first minute is dangerous. So after that, he breaks. Look how he's sitting. Look how he's looking at his Mike! I'm right here. Yep. Right there. Eddie! Eddie! Right there. That's the state of California cage side physician talking to Michael right. Chandler. Come back, baby. 
Right, right. Get up. Now number four starts with a chant of Eddie. Here at the Long Beach Arena. Jimmy threw three rounds. Big Eddie Alvarez that last round, 10-9. I have a two rounds to one for Michael Chandler. The doctor looking very closely at that eye. Might give Chandler a bit of urgency in this fourth round. Fans scoring on the Bellator app, you're in sync with Jimmy's scorecard. Giving rounds one and two, 10-9 to Chandler, and round three, 10-9 to Alvarez. He's now trying to walk down Chandler, who's on his bicycle. Alvarez being busy with the left hand. You see the shift. Oh, Shot nice in. That landed clean, beautifully timed by the champion. More left hands, though, from Alvarez as he backpedals. Chandler coming forward, a good left hand. Shot to sprawl. Not much between these two fighters in the Bellator cage tonight. Rose guard now from Alvarez. Now Eddie's looking tired. This is where Chandler wants to turn it on. The blood on the face of Alvarez from that cut under his left eye. Also out of the nose, his nose is bleeding quite a bit. Open guard from the former champion, Eddie Alvarez. The reigning champion, Michael Chandler, trying to go to work with his ground and pound. Big right hands. See Alvarez raise up with the chest hold, bringing him in close. Eddie needs to get some distance. Get back to his feet. Chandler tenacious throwing those right hands from his knees. The big white base now the left. Great Another elbow left strikes. elbow. The right elbow to strike that time. Get your fingers out of his throat, Mike. Carthy just telling Chandler, fingers out of the throat. He's using that to try to essentially hold the head of Alvarez still. Still open guard for Eddie Alvarez. Both fighters covered in blood, their own and each other's. It's not trapped the arm, the right arm of Eddie Alvarez under his back. Then he can let go with the left hand. Alvarez trying to shrimp and also trying to punch from his back. Another elbow strike from Chandler. And Chandler really turning it on on top. That's why they call these championship rounds. These are two of the top lightweights in the world. And they're looking to suck in the wrist and the arm of Alvarez. This is with that right hand. Landing with those right hands. Man. Dominant round so far for Michael Chandler. It's how much does Eddie Alvarez have left? That's the question. And Jimmy Alvarez time and time again trying to throw from flat on his back. Not looking for sweeps, just shrimping and trying to punch. Problem is, punch from the bottom are never as effective as punches oh, from the top. Really let go of it. He's got to use those strikes to set up something, be the submission, a sweep, some over. space for an escape. Just elbows from the bottom, strikes from the bottom aren't going to do it. Twice in sequence, McCarthy warning Alvarez, go, grabbing Mike, the fence. Standard. Let's improve, let's go. Let's go. Bell can't it. come soon enough now for Eddie Alvarez. Ten seconds to go round four. 
Chandler letting go with punches and elbows from this top position. And we will go to the fifth and final round. Sit down. Relax. Feeling all right, baby? Yeah. All right, man. We got one round left, brother. One round. Okay. All right, listen up, my friend. You need to get out of there. Okay. If you want to win it, you need to get him, get him out of there. Yeah, I know. You get your water. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready. You all right? Hey, all right, listen. Baby. You need to get him out of there. Open your eyes. Ugly, my dude. There you Real go. Ugly. There you go, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You can Clean see. that goatee, John. Hey, okay. give me feints. You're high. Up, you're high and lows. He doesn't want to go to the ground again. Your high and lows are there. Okay. Look at this. Jump knee right on the jaw. That stunned him. And then the ground and pound later on in the fight. Eddie Alvarez hanging on, but he was in trouble at the end of that round. How much gas does he have for round five? That's the question. Step on back. Step on back. The first time around. Here we go, you ready? You it ready? did not get out of the fourth round. Chandler submitting Eddie Alvarez. Here in the rematch, we have reached the fifth round. Jimmy, how do you see it thus far? So far, I have it three rounds to one for Michael, Ch for Michael Chandler. I only gave Eddie round number three. Eddie's corner, very honest in between rounds. I said, you gotta get him out of there if you want the belt, if you want to win. I agree completely. Backing himself up. Shooting good sprawl from Alvarez on the double leg attempt and two left hands. Jump knee again from the Chandler. Chandler's hands way down. Eddie needs to take advantage of those hands being down if he wants to take this fight. Oh, nice uppercut. Takedown for Chandler. Set up in sequence from the uppercut. And now looking to take the back of Eddie Alvarez. They are right in front of us. That is all crank. Pure power on the jaw and the neck. He's got to get underneath the chin to finish. Chandler going hard on the crank. A man, a crank takes a lot of energy. Does he have the gas to finish that? He needs to get underneath the chin to get the choke. Alvarez turning. Back to his feet. Can't the question, winch, Sinchon Chandler. Can't question the heart of either one of these guys. Eddie Alvarez still fighting hard, still fighting like he wants that belt. He's down, he's not out. You see the blood dripping out of the mouth of Michael Chandler. Chandler trying to explode to a better position. Alvarez matching him turn for turn. Hammer fist now from Alvarez. Two phenomenal fighters throwing down in the Bellator cage. Bloodied, bruised, swollen, beaten, and still they fight on. At stake to Bellator lightweight world title. The former champion Eddie Alvarez versus the current champion, the man who took his title, Michael Chandler. 2.30 to go. I would watch these guys fight 20 times, 30 times. As many times as Gordon Redmond will put him in the cage, I'll watch him. Chandler keeping himself grounded with his right hand. Also with his right knee. Left from Alvarez. At this point, the bodies of both these guys have to be spent. I know they train hard, but so much of what you're seeing is heart and guts. Chandler trying to somersault to a better position. Again, Alvarez matching him and gets one hook in. Has two of them in. Alvarez now thinking his own rear naked choke to finish and take back his title. Can't see how deep it is, he might have it. Chandler able to roll out, but still full mount. He's in big trouble still. 
Chandler again looking for the rear naked choke. Lost it. 115 to go. What a fight. Phenomenal. Man, this is unbelievable. Chandler struggling at this point. Eddie doing everything he can to get the finish, but Chandler just won't give in. He's got to get out of this position, though. The crowd not behind the champion, Michael Chandler, but behind the former champion, Eddie Alvarez. There's a plotting the guts we're seeing here. Man, Chandler's face is a bloody mess. But he is still fighting and ends up on top. Also covered in blood, and now he's on his back and in the open guard. This is beyond talent. This is character, Jimmy. In fighting, you can't hide from who you are. You cannot hide from what's inside you. These guys are warriors. The finish line in sight. Will we reach it? 15 seconds to go. Another takedown from the champion. Man, another fight. I feel privileged to see, Sean. Privileged to call. A phenomenal 25 minutes in the Bellator cage. And look at the show of respect from these two phenomenal fighters. Everyone in this arena should be on their feet. That was an amazing fight by two champions. I'm sorry one man has to take the belt. That was a championship performance by two warriors tonight. Our fight replay is brought to you by Rise Son of Rome, only on Xbox One. Look at this rear naked choke. So deep, Michael Chandler just fighting out of it. Pure heart, pure guts at this point. Battered, exhausted, just unwilling to submit. And look at it here, thought this might be the end of the fight. This image says all you need to know about this fight, the look on both of these fighters' faces. Eddie doing everything he can. He knew he needed to finish. Tried every trick in the book to get it, but Michael Chandler would not be denied at the end of that fight, ending the fight on top. Question is, was it enough? Now his family so behind him, that's his mom. Screaming her head off as a mom should. And Jamie Eddie Alvarez's wife, and who walks away from the belt, walks away with the belt. I'm sorry, that's the question right now. Jimmy, what do you think? Who wins this fight? Who takes this title? I gave Eddie Alvarez that last round, but Chandler won it three to two on my scorecard, 48-47. But you never know. Chandler's left that eye on the dab. almost swollen, yeah, entirely good. shut. Yeah. He, did, he still did a lot of damage. He still walked on every round. Forget the walking. almost. That eye is completely swollen shut. Uh, it's a good fight. It's a good yeah, fight. Yeah, I, I think so. Nobody's coming in and out anymore, man. Don't worry. Hey, you're, you're by time again. You're there again. Phenomenal fight. The first time was truly special, and so was the rematch. Living up to the hype. Eddie Alvarez versus Michael Chandler for Bellator's lightweight world title. Crazy fight. You see the guy's face? Look at the guy's face. Eddie. Okay. Pensive look on the face of Eddie Alvarez. Chandler also obviously concerned. To end all suspense, here's Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, we go five full rounds. So we now go to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge, cage side, Mike Beltran, sees the fight 48 to 47. He sees the fight for Chandler. 
Your second judge, Stephen Davis, scores the fight 48-47. He sees the fight for Alvarez. Your third and final judge, Derek Cleary, scores the fight 48 to 47 for the winner by split decision for the new and now two-time lightweight world champion Eddie Alvarez. The former and now current Bellator lightweight world champion. He has taken back his title. Eddie Alvarez claims the split decision win over Michael Chandler and celebrates with his wife, Jamie.